And now, a little interesting fact about myself. A little interesting fact about myself. I worked on a produce farm from high school all the way till I graduated college and even a year after I would help out a little bit here and there. All the way up until I moved to New York City actually, I was working on that produce farm. I loved the work, it was hard, but I grew this food that we sell at Wegmans. But I gained a lot of knowledge. This time of year, I would be in the greenhouses after school, seeding a ton of trays, kind of like this, and now I get to do it in my own garden. It's really exciting. Kristen picked these up not too long ago. It's all recycled material, and it's biodegradable as well, so I'm actually going to start my seeds in these guys right here. Let's see what Kristen picked up for seeds. BP. Lettuce. Cucumber. Watermelon. Oop. Green and yellow squash. Spinach. Pepper. We're gonna do some nice wildflowers along the deck as well outside. It's gonna be really pretty. Hey, Belle. Okay, so this is this was my test garden last year. I'm gonna extend this another 25 feet, going that way towards the building. You can see it kind of in the corner, and allow a lot more room for stuff to grow along the fence here. I planted cucumbers and had them kind of growing up along the fence. I trained it to go up, and that worked out really well. So. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try to do the same thing with the watermelons, keep them low and along the side of the fence, and then all the taller stuff kind of this way. Maybe um, try to plant things in two rows here. It takes up a lot of space. This is not that big of a raised bed. I think I'll do a little bit each year until I finally move away to the farm when I have like an acre to grow. Today what I'm going to do is scrape a little bit of this topsoil right here and fill my trays so I can start my seeds inside. I like to do that because this time of year, especially in Syracuse, you get a lot of frost and uh, that can damage all the new growth. It's really early to even think about planting outside here unless you're able to protect it from severe weather that might come through. It's very sunny out, so I can't really see. I filled my trays with some soil. Nice, loose soil. Scraped it from the top of my garden. I'm gonna let that sit for a few days and enjoy the sun. Let everything heat up a little bit more. I got a lot of other yard work to do and I'm getting a little too excited about my produce garden. I can't wait to get these plants started and show you and you can watch them grow with me. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be our little plant family. Our planly. I don't know why I do the things I do. I'll get more into what I'm gonna do outside when it gets a little warmer and probably when I start transplanting into the garden. We'll talk a little bit about the dimensions. I'll go more into detail about how tall I went off the ground only to protect them from the monsters, Bell and Wilder. The garden did really well in that area. It gets full sun. I was afraid because there's a maple tree next to it, I was afraid there was gonna be too much shade. It did so well and they kind of, everything kind of overcrowded each other. So. I'm going to be extending it another, hopefully, I think I can get another actually 25 feet and grow a ton more produce so I can juice my own cucumbers right from the garden. I'm very excited, I can't wait. With all the other seeds that Kristen bought, I'm gonna plant some here and hopefully give some to Janelle for us to grow at Mockingbird. I think that's enough garden stuff for now. Let's go hang out in the kitchen. One and a half days later. All right, a music update. The band just released our four song EP. It's out anywhere that you can search for it if you type in Highland Funeral, but I'll also post a link below where you can download the four songs. Let me know what you think. We have a couple shows that we're trying to get booked for this month and next month, and we're also gonna keep writing and see if maybe we can write a full length by the end of the year and see where it takes us. Tomorrow, I'm heading out to the farm and Janelle and I are planning on shooting a lot of video, giving you some updates on everything that we have going on there. We really need to focus on the drainage project. That's been our topic of conversation the last three or four times we've spoken and we need to, we need to figure out how to fully fund it. We're almost there, but we need, we need to figure out how to get more money for that. We'll go into detail and tell you everything about it together. If you have any questions regarding the farm, leave them in the comments below and I'll shoot a video Video tomorrow covering anything you want to know and for all my friends out there that really want to see me cooking in the kitchen again like the good old vegan zombie days I plan on doing that a lot next week actually because I'm gonna be doing mostly whole foods as cheap as possible as fast as possible it's gonna be very very long hours at my regular job and then on my day off I'm gonna be driving to the farm so I want to make sure I'm meal prepping in the cheapest healthiest way possible if you have any go-to recipes let me know in the comments below and I'll try them out. I'll let you know how it works. 
I plan on starting some of those seeds in the middle of next week too, so I gotta shoot a video on that. I'm gonna have a busy week next week. I'll probably see you three or four times. You're gonna get sick of me, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna go play with the pups, so make sure you guys go vegan and stay vegan. Bell. I bought the guys vegan donuts from Sweet Praxis. They're gonna be so happy. It's gonna make up for how terrible I am at playing music.